morning beautiful people welcome back to another day of the vlog guys i am tired okay i am so so tired i went to sleep at a ridiculous time like i'm not even gonna say the time i just had a really hard time sleeping i had some editing to do which i definitely procrastinated and was up all night doing that and then i decided to binge watch a show that i have been wanting to watch for a really long time so i finally got crave i don't know if you guys have that in the states or is it just in canada i believe it's in the states too i got crave and they have a bunch of shows that i've been wanting to watch and i started watching um the show called i may destroy you i believe that's what it's called the actress the main actress i love her she is incredible like the talent is insane i'm going to enjoy my latte and relax a bit but i still have so much to do mm, that one's good yeah today i have quite a few things to do i have to edit i have a lot of laundry to do that i was supposed to finish doing over the weekend and clearly i didn't you know what i need to do i need to reorganize my entire self okay it's a new month and i really need to reorganize myself because i feel like the last week i've been a little disorganized and really procrastinating on a lot of things that i should have got done um in march so i need to sit down you know write out some affirmations write out my plans for the month and really execute them because there's a lot that I want to do this year and I just don't have time to procrastinate. I mean, you can have downtime, but girl, I'm exaggerating. I have so much to do with the candles. Um, they haven't launched yet. As you guys can tell, I haven't put out a video, official video on my candles, but they are coming. Like I've already made so many of them. And by the way, guys, I'm not going through a manufacturing company when it comes to my candles. I'm actually making them myself. So there's a lot of work involved in um doing that like lots of testing making sure everything's safe uh, because it is a candle we're playing with fire here and uh, making sure my scents are on point and you know just making sure i'm proud of the product that i put out and that's why i'm not rushing but i'm also at the same time holding myself back because i'm overthinking okay it's a new company i'm the only one funding it i'm not gonna have something you know on a level of tacha or something like that at sephora because i don't have investors or anything like that so i have to be a little bit realistic and i just gotta put it out there um because i know that the candles are beautiful they smell incredible they are luxurious it's just the shipping packaging that that really screwed me over because I had a vision of how I wanted the box to look like and um, a lot of things happen with shipping from overseas and uh, the cost just doesn't make sense so it makes more sense to just get a simple box and put the candles in there and send them off that way you know what I'm saying let me know in the comment section what do you guys think because I really wanted this to be a luxurious experience it's just the packaging not the actual candle uh jar because that is very high end i am paying kind of a premium price for that i didn't go to like a jar that cost like two dollars one dollar this one cost me quite a bit um but i want it to be really sophisticated and something that you can reuse once the candle is finished so does it bother you that the box isn't going to look absolutely amazing it might be a simple eco-friendly box um let me know maybe i'm overthinking it honestly i think i'm over analyzing it but aside from oh my kitchen is a hot mess but aside from the candles i still have another project that i am in the process of finalizing i've been scouting manufacturing companies for a while now and i think i finally found two because i need two you know i you just want a backup plan a b plan so I found two manufacturing companies that I think are really good in terms of the quality. So I think I have found my products. I'm just testing them out right now. It's a project that I'm doing with, hmm, I got some <laughs> 
froth on my lips is a project that I'm doing with my sister and um something we've been wanting to do for a little while my mom's probably gonna help out too and it's kind of just like I really want to build generational wealth you know what I mean I want to create multiple streams of income I want to be able to help family and you know just create uh something that i can leave behind for my kids and something that can grow something that maybe won't be here forever but th with that income i'd be able to pour into something else you know what i'm saying it's 2022 guys there is so many different ways of making multiple streams of income that i cannot have all these ideas and sit back and just let them go to waste. I gotta, I got to do something about it. So that's what I'm doing for 2022. Like my candle business, the other project, um, which I will tell you guys very soon. I'm even thinking of documenting the process. I should have did that with my candles. The process of creating a brand. I really want to collaborate with a um, brand to create some products. So I have big plans and I am 100% sure that they are definitely going to come to life. It just really is all about organizing uh, your goals and also making sure that you're mentally there in terms of like a uh, confidence level and knowing that you can do it. You could do it, you know, remove all the doubt that may come your way whether from yourself or from others remove it out of your life and just focus on your vision because if you have a vision it's there for a reason i really do believe that whenever you get this idea sometimes it might even seem completely unrealistic but i have discovered that it's okay to not always think so structured and so realistic you know i feel like sometimes that puts a limit on how far we can go in life so I'm really you know discovering that I can I can dream beyond I can plan beyond what I thought I was capable of because honestly we're capable of anything we really set our minds to so that's my 2022 mode honey that's what I'm thinking that's what I'm doing and we're gonna make it happen you know what I'm saying like laundry is folded but I still have so much to do guys there's another pile, but we're getting there. We're getting there. I relaxed for a bit on the couch, watched the ending of that show. Now I am back to cleaning. The kitchen is pretty much clean. Now I gotta tackle my bedroom. We have a beautiful candle burning while I was cleaning. Oh my God, this candle, this is Silk Mood. If you're not following my Instagram page on my candles, definitely do so i'll link it down below i always post some updates and pictures and all that good stuff i don't have the labeling on here but this is the uh vessel for my candle and you guys can see here we have a little one going do you guys see the glitter the shimmer this is so luxe i hope it's like picking it up properly but there is some shimmer in there and it looks so pretty but this candle smells oh it smells so gorgeous it's like a deep plummy tone i've never smelled a candle like this it literally smells like a perfume that i would wear but yeah i got my little candle burning she's gorgeous i can't wait for you guys to finally get them in your hands but anyways let's go upstairs and start cleaning Look at that, guys. The room is finally clean. At least the room's clean. I'm just going to quickly vacuum, clean my bathroom, which I'm not even going to show you guys. It's a hot mess. But at least the room is clean. I got a bunch of stuff down here that I need to take to my filming room. I also need to send these out. I ordered these online. I'm, I'm honestly going to give up shopping online because my experience has been terrible lately but um i ordered this outfit it's a pantsuit type of outfit and it looks so good 
got the pants in a large, got the um, blazer in a medium, and they both don't fit. <laughs> pants are just a little too tight. Like, I can zip them up and everything, but, like, it's a little too tight. And the blazer doesn't, you know, button up. And then I got these gorgeous uh, leather or faux leather pants that look stunning on the model. But they are just ridiculously long. Like, I need to, like, basically cut off this much for it to fit me even remotely. So, <sighs> I don't even know the return policy, so wish me luck. Um, I actually ended up ordering some food for lunch. I got some Jamaican food. We have um, a little restaurant here in my area that's actually pretty good, so... I used my Uber Eats and ordered some Jamaican food, which just arrived. I'm actually starving. I'm gonna maybe go to the gym. If I don't go to the gym today, I'm definitely working out at home because I have been slacking the last two days. Two days, that's a lot, girl. Come on now, come on now. Yum. This is the only Jamaican food in my area that's actually good. We have about four different restaurants and this is the only one that... Mmm. It's the only one that hits. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Just dropped the kids off at school and I decided that I'm gonna go to the gym first thing in the morning I'm not a morning workout person I like to work out in the evening but I think just getting it out of the way in the morning as soon as I drop off the kids at school is the best way to go and then I could do what I got to do the rest of the day and not think about mm, when am I gonna squeeze in my workout so I'm gonna go and do a little cardio for like half an hour, 45 minutes, and then probably do like 25 minutes of weight training. Today I think I'm just gonna do glutes and legs, and then tomorrow I'll do my back. But um, yeah, I hope everyone is doing fantastic. I've actually been slacking on my workout for the last like three days, so I need to get back on track because I'm doing incredible and I don't want to change that habit. You know what I'm saying? It's become a habit, a good habit, and I'm so proud of myself for that because I'm not so much focused on having this ideal body right away. Like, I'm not rushing for that. I know it takes a little bit of time, so I am learning to enjoy the process and learning to enjoy taking care of my body you know what i'm saying like inside and out so it's gotten to a point where i enjoy working out because i feel so good right after it like i feel accomplished i feel a lot more strength and energy so we're doing good it is 9 a.m and go to the gym for an hour and we're good head out to Sephora and then head home because I got 
some filming to do and I have some editing to do tomorrow I actually have an event I'll bring you guys along it is with the biasins which I'm so excited about I absolutely love their skincare line so I have an event to go to should be fun should be seeing a couple of my fellow influencers that I talk to and there are some ladies from my management team that will be there also so i think it's gonna be super fun and i cannot wait to go um i'm getting more and more excited about events like before i just wouldn't go and dread it because i don't know i just wasn't feeling it like i've had so so experiences with events here in toronto like it's like you watch these content creators online. I'm just like you guys. I have my favorite content creators that I watch on a regular basis. And um, when you get to see them in person, the vibe is just totally different. You know what I mean? The personality is a little bit different. They're not as bubbly, as friendly, as laid back as I thought they were. And so it's just like, it's just a weird feeling like oh okay and I thought I would you know network a lot more when I moved to Toronto but it's kind of hard girls are really just oh, man why are we ladies so competitive with each other like why don't we embrace each other encourage each other support each other no we are seeking out competition for ourselves and looking at who's doing what when how and how i can do that too and come up from that but not any even in a way of getting inspired but it becomes like envious and it's just our industry is very competitive and can be very catty and i just like to stay away from that so i don't really talk to a ton of creators here in toronto i have maybe a handful of girls that i talk to excuse me if the lighting is not incredible yeah, I have probably a handful of girls that I talk to who are super nice, very genuine, uh, down-to-earth people, but um, it's hard to come across, I find. Maybe, maybe that's just me thinking. If you're a content creator out here in Toronto or anywhere, let me know. Let me know your thoughts, you know what I mean? I, I feel like it can be really hard, and I love my stress-free, drama-free life. That was a good workout. Guys, I am so glad that I actually went to work out. I feel incredible. I was in there for an hour and a half. <laughs> I don't really get sweaty sweaty unless I'm doing like heavy cardio. Like if I was to do like half an hour cardio, I would be sweating, but I only did 15 minutes. So I went in the bathroom, just washed my face real quickly. It's hella dry. So on my lips, do I have lip balm in here? I don't think I have any lip balm, but um, I'm going to head to Sephora right now. Oh, I do have some lip balm, but this might, this has color, doesn't it? This is from Burt's Bees. It is in Winning Pink. I actually really like these. Let's see. And it's almost done, but just enough to hydrate my dry lips.
lovely people. So it's been many hours after I last talked to you guys and I took my shower, um, did laundry. Of course I ate. I actually didn't eat that much. Um, I got a stir fry and I ate maybe a quarter of it because I got a booster juice with protein powder in there. And I think that filled me up. It was actually so delicious. It was like raspberry, strawberry, blueberries, pomegranate, something else, something else, but it was good. I got it from Booster Juice. Oof. And now I'm finally doing my makeup because, is this focusing on me? I hope so. Anyways, I'm finally doing my makeup because I'm gonna film and all of that good stuff. I thought I would try one of the foundations because I really want to try. And I think I'm going to try some products. Yeah, some products from the Sephora. Uh, I ended up getting the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip. They didn't have the full size, but luckily they had this little travel size one, which is great for just trying out. So I am going to do something really light, you know, you know me guys, I don't do anything super crazy when it comes to makeup and because I really want to film with natural lighting, I have to be fast so that the sun doesn't go down, even though, you know, the sun's going to be up for a little bit more. Ooh, this literally feels like a serum, like I am applying a serum on my skin. It feels really nice, but... Initially, it smelled a little like alcohol. Very tacky. Oh my God. Hmm, that's interesting. I can see why it's called Hydra Grip. Is it hydrating? It felt like a primer. Like my skin doesn't feel dry, but it's, it feels extremely tacky. Very, very tacky. Okay. Um, What foundation do I want to try for this video? I really want to try, I got like four different complexion products. So I want to try one of them in this video and I don't know which one, which one girl, which one? I got so many of them, but this brand I'm really intrigued by. I just saw it and it looks like a really nice, like everyday foundation, but I think I want, who is that? Arrives tomorrow. Okay. My Fabletics order is arriving tomorrow, which I'm so excited about. I think I'm going to try the Makeup Forever. This is called the HD Skin foundation i ended up getting the shade 2y36 and uh packaging is cute look at that super adorable very aesthetic with like the nude over here and we're just gonna go ahead and apply that with a brush using my usual brushes i wanted to get new brushes but i didn't see any good brushes from the sephora collection oh i hope this shade's good I'm just looking up at my mirror that's right above the camera. Wow, this is going on really nicely. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Okay, this shade is very spot on. Like, this looks good. I really need to go for a wax. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Oh my God. Tomorrow I have an event with Biosense, like I was telling you guys. And so if I want to do anything, I have to go early because time just flies and I have to leave my house at the latest one o'clock so that I get there on time so maybe I'll just do a little shave shave and wax on the weekend but this looks really good it's very natural very soft focus but it looks good it's to me on my skin I don't know if it's the primer it's kind of like a demi matte finish. I'm not seeing much of a sheen at all. Like, look at that. Yeah, it kind of has a demi matte finish. I think this camera has a filter. I need to figure out how to turn that off because my skin is just looking a little too filtered, like too soft. That is not my skin, okay? This is my skin. When I get really close up, yeah, I have to figure out how to turn that off. But, hmm. I like it, but I think I would prefer it with like a luminous primer because you guys know me. I need a mirror, a close to mirror because you guys know me. I like more of a dewy finish and this is on more of the matte side. It doesn't look bad. I need to clean my mirror. It's so dirty. It doesn't look bad, 
It looks very natural. Definitely quite like HD. So I see where the name is going. Wow, this, I'm impressed with this shade. Like it matches me perfectly. Okay, that was good. So far, so good. It looks really pretty. Okay, so for concealer, I'm just gonna use my Fenty Beauty concealer. I need something lighter though. This concealer is more for canceling out my dark circles because it has a nice like almost like a peachy undertone sort of so where's my other concealer here we go i'm gonna use my nars radiant creamy concealer on top just to slightly highlight that area like that yeah when i went to sephora i definitely bought way more than i wanted to but all good reasons it's content hello it's content but i'm excited to really play around with all of the products that i got i got a little bit of everything i got some skincare got a ton of makeup which i wasn't expecting i thought i was going to get more skincare than makeup but i got a ton of makeup like so many new com complexion products like selena gomez's line had complexion products makeup forever charlotte tilbury like all i saw was tinted moisturizer not so much heavy foundations it was more on like the natural side of complexion products which i am here for so that's definitely a trend i feel like the heavy full coverage look went out of style a couple of years back and people are more into like a soft focus look which i'm one of those people i love when it looks super natural oh that concealer combo is my favorite so yeah i pretty much got a little bit of something from a few different brands i got some skincare from summer friday they just came out with a new uh serum that i really wanted to try out i actually ended up getting two of their serums um what else did i get i got this um spf that i saw on tiktok and it looked so gorgeous from Josie Moran and I'm excited to try that out uh the girl that tried it on on TikTok I mean it made her skin just looks glowy and healthy and stunning so hopefully it does that to me and uh what else what else what else bronzer we need bronzer and yeah I just got a little bit of everything got some fragrance okay we got the Valentino the new Valentino I sampled it at the store and it smelled incredible. Now the other one from Victor and Ralph, Flower Bomb, the new one, the Orchid something. I don't know, like it was a little too orchidy, too floral. I wasn't feeling the dry down. Like the opening I really liked and I had it in my cart. But then the dry down I was like, mm, so I've put it back down on the shelf. I don't know, maybe I'll get like a little travel size one just to like review, but I don't see myself having a full size bottle of that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's the tea. That's the tea. That's the tea. Where's my bronzer? My makeup is everywhere. Everywhere. Okay. So I got this bronzer from Rare Beauty. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it out right now because I cannot find my bronzer anywhere. Ooh, I like the packaging, so cute, look at that. Very, very cute. And I ended up getting the shade, what is this, Always Sunny? Oh, that's pigmented. Wow, that is pigmented. But I like the warm, the warm tone. Wow, that's so smooth. Okay, let's try and blend this out because the way it glided on my skin felt amazing. I'm putting it back in the bag because I have to film a haul video. So I'm going to blend that out with this brush here. And I've been using the Merit Complexion Stick as my bronzer lately. Honey! Oh my goodness, that looks stunning. That looks gorgeous. 
no. Like, it's kind of like the Merit Complexion Stick, but not as emollient. This has a little bit more, more thickness to it, but it's blending out like a dr Damn, that's good. Definitely gonna rock with Rare Beauty and try out more products because if the foundation is as good as this, I'm obsessed. Oh my God. For blush, I'm taking Rare Beauty. This is not new. I've already um, used this and this is so pigmented. I literally need like even two dots is a lot. Like it's so much product, you're never going to run out of it. And then I just kind of blend that out like that with a brush. You can use a beauty blender too, but I just go in with a brush and just pull that back. I like it now that I know how to work with it. The first time I put this on my face, I look like a total clown because it was just so much product. I had to wipe it off and start all over because even here, like I think I only need one dot. <laughs> hello guys welcome back to another vlog as you guys can see i'm getting ready because i am off to the event with biasins i'm actually rushing like literally i am rushing i'm waiting for my uber driver that should be here any minute now one minute oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. and um i just did a really soft makeup look hair is going to stay like this i just need a little something, something something here oh can you guys even see my face anyways um this is my outfit my room is a hot mess i just wore something super simple but anyways i'll catch you guys in the cab but um this is my makeup look very very soft anyways i gotta go i gotta go <laughs> Thank you. 